is scratching on the door now. <laughs> this is Storm, everybody. Our golden boy. I'm going to come sit here with us. Good boy, light on. There we go. Okay, so now we have Storm for an audience. What can I do to enhance how my body looks on camera? There are quite a few things there. So one of the things is, first of all, with your clothing. So you want to wear something that's relatively fitted. It will, generally speaking, look a lot better on camera for video and for stills. In terms of positioning your body, you want to create angles. So a tub chair is a fabulous prop because it naturally lets you rest your elbows like this, which gives you some angles as opposed to sitting like that. Always be having your shoulders back, your chest out, your tummy in, Create that posture so that you can breathe easily and be open to the camera. It's very important to be able to have that engaging look. When you're standing, posing, you want to create those angles. So angle your body slightly and allow enough space in between your arms and your body that you can actually create a gap as opposed to where your arm is right next to your body and it actually makes your body look fuller in a sense than really defined in the waist. So you're looking for definition and you're looking for ways to move your legs, move your knees, shape your body. That's going to be create appealing angles on camera. And that obviously would apply for lying down as well. Yes, and br you know, bring your hands into play. So you might be resting your chin on your hands. Something to think about there is that you don't want to do that. You'd rather do that so that you have the side angle on your hand. But you want wanting to be doing something that's comfortable for you. I've done a lot of modeling portfolios for aspiring models and I've sat in with photographic courses for models where they teach posing. For many of us where we're actually looking for branding photos for business, that's not what we're wanting to be doing. We're wanting to be sitting in a natural scenario as we naturally would, speaking to our client for example. So just the way we're doing here can create a really nice scenario for you. You might be someone who likes to curl your foot up, perfectly fine, a more casual look. When we work in studio with our clients, we'll use different props. So we'll use a chair like this or a different style of chair, a couple of different styles of chair. A stool, which is really nice to also give you that height actually. Very nice to be able to, to bring your body forward. What you really don't want is for your feet to be out in front of you or even your hands, because that will accentuate that part of your body and make it look bigger than the rest of you. And I'd love to mention the experience that I had with you in studio enabled me to find what works for me. Your photographer can really help you with this, or your videographer. Or if you're at home and you have your sister taking photos of you, she can help you. Because you can see with each other what looks nice. So if you're photographing your friend, for example, you can mirror what they're doing and help them in that way to actually you know, relax and get into something that's going to really be comfortable for them. Mm -hmm. Sitting on the floor is often a lovely way, particularly for family shoots. Really nice to get together on the floor. And then when you've got more than one person, you can get very creative with the shapes you can create with your body. You know, leaning on each other, hugging back to back, piling on top of one another, one seated, one standing, all of those things. Um.